Am I Rembrandt is the final display in our Making Discovery series and looks at issues of authenticity and attribution around Rembrandt's paintings. The focus is Rembrandt's self-portrait with a feathered bonnet on loan from Buckland Abbey in Devon. This portrait was recently reattributed to the master in 2014, following a long history of discussion and debate. Previously, it was thought to be by the artist's pupil, Govert Flink, and was only reattributed to the master after new technical evidence was discovered. Rembrandt is undoubtedly one of the most famous artists of the 17th century. His paintings have an almost mythical status, so we're asking how does a painting status change when his name is attached to it? In our collection, we have undisputed works by the master, like Girl at a Window and Jacob de Haine. These paintings are often used as markers against which to judge other unsigned and undated paintings from the period. Their authorship is completely undisputed. However, we have other works that are perhaps slightly more questionable. For example, Portrait of a Young Man, perhaps the artist's son Titus. The poor condition of this portrait has often led its authenticity and attribution to be questioned in the past. In this display, we make available technical evidence, which we as curators use to decide whether or not something is a Rembrandt. For example, x-rays that show a work is original and not a copy. We also have works formerly by Rembrandt whose authorship has since been disproven. Up until the early 20th century, Jacob's Dream was one of the most famous and recognisable paintings by Rembrandt in the gallery. Lauded by artists and critics alike, copied by Turner and Constable. However, in 1946, a signature was uncovered that was not in fact Rembrandt's signature, but that of his last pupil, Et de Helder. Since then, its status as a painting has perhaps decreased. However, it remains the same painting that Constable and Turner loved. This masterpiece on loan from the National Trust is a springboard to look at our own Rembrandts and their own issues of authenticity and attribution, thinking about what makes a Rembrandt a Rembrandt and how do curators and conservators work together to authenticate a painting.